Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. Uh, welcome to another episode of Russian Fishing 4. This is the uh, newbie user guide. Um, we are here again on on Mosquito, and we are going to get into some bottom fishing. Um, so, if you guys been pay uh, watching the previous videos, um, you guys should know the basics of uh, between float fishing and spin fishing. At least for the spinner, at least, um, and how to get some fish. Um, also, you guys should know about the cafe here and uh, making extra money and selling your fish. Always check the cafe before selling your fish here because you might have fish that you can um, turn in to make yourself some extra money. Okay? All right. So we're gonna go over here um, to the tackle store. And we are going to buy uh, this right here. The feeder starting kit. Um, so this comes with everything um, from a fishing rod, which is, uh, 20 to 100 grams. Um. Well, I'm trying to. To line my mouse on that spot. Okay. And, the uh, fast is, uh, action is fast. Uh, stiffness is 5 to 10. Power is heavy, meaning it's based on the test. is 10, is 20 to 100. Uh, length is 3.6 meters, low capacity is 6 kilograms, and if you look down here, uh, we got a nice reel, uh, 4 kilograms, and the fishing line is 4.8, so this is good. Um, and you also start out with a bell too, which is also a good thing. So let's go ahead and purchase this. <coughs> We're going to go in our inventory. We're gonna click on the the feeder rod kit, and we're gonna unpack it. Once you uh, we do this, uh, you cannot return it. Just remember that. Anything that you do, you unpack, or if you use, you cannot return it back to the shop. Okay. Okay. Now we want to put our new um, pole. In the place of number one, and the telescope is going to go with number two, and our um, spinning rod is going to go with number three. Okay. Also, another thing I want to talk about <laughs> that I didn't talk about earlier is the ground bait. Um, so, the crucian and carps, right? Um, we want to get the ground crackers, millet porridge, and sun flour oil we should be able to get all this um, not that much uh, ground crackers is it a basis it's zero uh, point six so you can afford that go buy at least one and then you want to come over here to it additives we want to look for for the millet porridge, which is right here, grab one, and then down here under attractant, we want sunflower oil, which is 0 0.9. All this is quite affordable. Now we can actually make our first set of ground baits. Well, we're looking for the crucian and gibbles. This is going to give us some money. <coughs> <clears throat> what this do is we'll actually attract um, these fish to our location. So let's go ahead and use this. Make this up. Uh, you get t uh, 30. Uh, however, your quality is bad. Keep that in mind. If it's bad, um, try it just to remake it. Um, quality does improve with skill. Right here, making ground bait. Um, go ahead, put some levels in there. Uh, 
Alright. This is why I said to save your points so you can put it in stuff like this. I should have did that from the start. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and buy um, each of everything again. You get five portions, so you don't have to rebuy this. Don't worry. Just the other stuff you gotta buy. Uh, this one's better. Six of ten. We could use that. Alright. I'm gonna show you where we're gonna go. We are going to go right here in this little spot. This is beside of the um, of the boat dock. Okay, now we'll add some bait to this. Um, don't worry about the leader; you don't need it yet. Um, I would change this hook because you don't need a small 14. Um, use like a large four if you have it. Um, keep using the wet bread. Um, you can't use PVA, so I don't worry about it. And you're going to try to aim where you want to cast. So this one, um, you can set the retrieve speed. <coughs> uh, lower your friction brake to where you're comfortable at. And... There's a clip on this one. Uh, control, minus, and plus puts a clip on the line. I would use about 17. And just cast right in the front over here towards that edge of the uh, grass. Just um, lock it and set it down by hitting the zero on the keypad. And you can pick it back up, uh, just push the same button that you uh, put it to. Now, if you get a bite, uh, the bell right here will start shaking and ringing. So now, this lets you to fish on its side as well with the, the float or spinning reel and while you're doing some fishing on the, the bottom bottom fishing so you could use two rods now that way you're catching more fish see that give it time now you only gonna set the hook when you see your line your pole bend down if you grab it before it bends you're going to miss your fish. This is where you want to set the hook. There we go. There's our first fish in the bottom. Nice one too, actually. Uh, just recast and set it down. And just go back to your float. See, you already got a fish biting this one already. Well, it was. See, okay, here we go. No level, level eight. We're getting better fish now, right? You see that? No longer getting those un un undersized fish. Also, the beauty about the um, bottom fishing that 
the fish uh, gets auto hooked when you get a, when um, it bites. So if you got another fish on another rod and you got a bite on that one, um, don't worry, the fish is going to still be there. The fish don't pop off for a long while. Now as for the float, that's a different story. We gotta be patient with this one because this one's not grabbed it yet. It just it's grabbing it, but it's not hooked yet. When you see the pole bend like that, then the fish is hooked. Just set the hook and and reel it in. a nice one. I thought it was a nice fish. Oh, it's a tench. So when you hook in these tenches, right, they um kind of act like they're really big fish and they'll give you a hell of a uh, fight. Even the small ones give you a fight. You seen how they put a nice bend to that? That's what these tenches do. They, they stick to the bottom when they um they grab. Okay, now about the ground bait. If you think you're not getting any fish, uh, go ahead and grab your ground bait and put it in your hand. And you want to try aim it to where you where you cast that. So give it a few throws, and you'll be fine. You just want to surround the area. Where you were casting. Excuse me. Before too long, you'll start getting more bites. It takes about a minute or two for the ground bait to take effect. Now, if you feel that you're not getting any fish on your um, feeder rod, just go ahead and grab it and I'll just recast. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind about the feeder rod, right? Okay, you can get snagged. It does happen. As with the feeder rod, now, the hook uh, will get snagged. This icon right here will turn red and it will let you know that you are snagged. However, um, this part right here can get snagged 
but the game does not register as a snag so we basically call it a ghost or a phantom snag um there is really no way of getting that out by no matter what you do uh, unfortunately um you want to just basically alt f4 only way uh, to get out of it it's just unfortunately I mean basically you gotta just log and relog log out log back in you guys get the idea I said it happens a certain um, um, weights sinkers it does happen with them There's something going on here. I don't know what it is, but it's, you notice that uh, there's a glitch going on with the line. <laughs> He's talking about Bream. It's called a Bream. This is what I mean about the phantom snag. See, it's not snagged. It don't register. But the this this thing is snagged though. The The only way you can get out of this is hopefully a fish grabs it. Otherwise, you got to be uh, log out and log back in. It is stuck on the f the um where the um sinker's at.
This is the only bad thing about the feeder. And there's no way in getting out. The only way we're gonna get all that if a fish grabs it. So right now we're down to one pole. There we go. See something to learn, right? If you get stuck like this, just be patient. The fish will grab it and you can get out. So you don't have to alt F4 all the time. Unless you feel that you have to. I might move away from the spot. There's a glitch going on in this spot. Look at that. See how lines keep twitching? Yeah, we're gonna move out of this spot. To prevent getting stuck like this, um, just use your um, lift the rod and speed reel. Now we actually might be able to get some. Um, Ruffies, right? So just cast in front of us, like so. With the worm. And we just wait. Oh. One thing to know about this, um, about the uh, feeder rod. Uh, feeder rod has something called a quiver. When you're fishing for ruffies, uh, lower your uh, quiver weight. So you want a 14, okay, and you'll notice that the tip changes color. See right now it's green, it turns to uh, yellow, I think there's blue. I uh, have something wrong with this fishing line. Ah, uh, he didn't grab it, see? Never grabbed it. I'm gonna do some of this line. I'll put that back on. It might be the hook too. Actually, we're gonna go smaller, like the small 16. Let's see if we can get a roughy on here as well. We want to do a way a far cast out there. I don't know, I don't like this glitching line.
another way to avoid these so-called um, phantom snags, right? Um, set your uh, retrieve speed to all the way to max. Um, you want to just speed reel. Don't let it uh, drag the bottom. While we are waiting, we can actually go ahead, we're going to check the cafe, see if there's anything there. Um, and there isn't any. Okay. So we're going to sell the fish we got. If we have anything over 10 silver, uh, we are going to go grab um, some red worms. Red Worms is going to get us fish. And we're going to go get some Chinese sleepers. So we're going to go with the baits uh, to Worms. Uh, red Worm. And we're going to grab this. That gives us 30 of them. We broke again, but it's alright. That's what we do with the fishing. We spend money to make money. Well, that's unsettled. Unfortunately, I missed a fish, but it's all right. All right, so we are going to go over here. Another spot where I showed you earlier about the uh, Chinese sleepers. Right here underneath this tree. So we're going to change to a red worm. And for the clip here, I would do about like maybe seven. On the float, same thing, one of seven. Um, put it about 30. And there's our Ruffy. This is a good size, and these are actually valuable. I think I got too big of a hook on here. I think I hit that large four. Yeah, we want to turn that down to about 16. Otherwise, we're not going to get no fish.
usually the cafe orders actually have a good um um, good orders for the roughies. I didn't look, but I think I did see the roughie order up. And you get usually about um, maybe 20 or 30 silver for um, completing it. Definitely worth catching these fish. And if you come in here and check the weeklies, right, for the roughies here, you see people are catching them on the red worms and the regular worm, but the red worms are more popular. And you see that the cast flies work too, but if you can't afford it, then you gotta use red worms. And cast flies are very expensive. And one thing about roughies, they actually hit fast. They don't just, uh, they're not slow biters. Once they grab, they grab. A little Chinese sleeper. Of course, we got a smaller fish there because we're using smaller hooks. So, smaller hooks do yield to smaller fish, and bigger hooks uh, yield to bigger fish, but you still catch small fish. But bigger fish are more frequent. So really the question is, do hook size matter? Uh, I think we're going to cover that in another video to see if that does matter.
I'm surprised that I get no bites on here at all. See, if we had the tiny hooks and stuff, the, I mean, the smallest hook we can get, uh, we'd be getting these fish more easier. I think the tiny hooks cost about uh, 10 or 15 silver. You definitely do want to make sure you catch fish that actually uh, really do matter. Like I said, this, this uh, bait was um, a little bit expensive. And we want to make sure we get the fish that actually um, gives us a profit back. Now, I wonder if we got a fish on that one rod. The way to find that out, this is a little trick, guys. Uh, push G or V on your keyboard. And watch your uh, text right here. If it flickers, then you got a fish on. See that? You see how it's flickering? Ah, a little Chinese sleeper, a little better one. So it's not a good trick to uh, to know if you got a fish or not. Because sometimes the fish will grab it and won't never ever even let you know it's on. That's why some of us method to see if we got a fish on. And if, we, if it's flickering, then of course we're going to grab it and, and just reel it in. Because we know it's there, but the fish thinks we don't know. This most sneakiest fish in this game 
when it comes to um, bottom fishing is the Ides. Um, there is the um, uh, Ruffies do the same thing. I'm trying to think what else. Chubs. Ides, Chubs, uh, Ruffies. Okay, it said nicer fish. Let's uh, raise the break a little bit. <laughs> it's a mere carp. That right there, guys, what we call a uh, bycatch. At this point, we just might just move on because these uh, roughies are done. So we're going to go back to the boat dock this time. This time we want to cast behind the boat. With the red worm. This is another good spot for the sleepers. There's an eyed.
at this point, I would change the hooks because we're no longer going after roughies. Um, let's just go with the bigger hook. Alright, let's see if there's a fish on. Okay, because it was kind of bent, that's what I was wondering. Ah, a little cruising carp. Okay, how much you guys want to bet I'm going to get messaged? And I, buy, I, I bet I know by... I bet I know by who, too. If they noticed I was in chat just now. Another, oh, that's a tench. We gotta get some better fish here, guys. We are losing our baits and not catching nothing for profit. We're definitely going to have to change this hook too. Well, actually, this is a medium 10. What hook do we got on that feeder? We're going to check here soon we hook wherever that is. Yeah, small six. We'll go large for that one.
Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't think I actually uh, pulled that hard. I guess. Oh, one kilogram. That's a nice one. Yeah, make sure you actually lock your um <laughs> your bail. Lucky it wasn't too big of a fish cuz you can get spooled that way. But yeah, you guys see what I mean by using two rods, right? You're catching more fish. Surprised you haven't messaged me yet. We got 10 more worms left. I think we made over 10 silver, which is okay, but that's kind of, we need to think double than that, of that. Another nice crucian. <laughs> I don't think you realize who I am on there. If you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Ace Lightning over here. He's actually one of my friends on Discord. He's actually what that got me hooked into this game. Seeing the crucians are here, uh, we should actually throw something good out. The hell? <laughs> the damn freaking uh, ground bait stuck on the boat. It was bouncing like a ball.
wonder how long it's going to stay there. Well, why not get any fish on this? I think that ground bait's screwing up. Since I can see the ground bait in the water, I'm not getting more fish. The question is, does the ground bait actually matter? If you use it uh, by throwing it in the water or what? It also matters if you're using the right bait too. Because you've seen in the mix it showed uh, pea porridge and, um, not pea porridge, but, um, yeah. And we can't make pea porridge for a while if you notice here, um, I think way down here. And you can't use pea porridge until you reach, um, uh, where is it? Pearl barley. Right here, forty percent, guys. To even to even use that bait. Yeah.
Well, anyways, I'm going to um, check see how much we I made with the um, from this fish. Check the cafe, but I don't think we made anything. I think you need about five roughies if we had the right size, though, too. Yeah, we need five. That's almost tw 30 silver for them fish. And we need another one of those, so we ain't gonna sell those, we just gotta keep those in that one. So we're gonna sell everything else uh, except this guy, that one, these four fit, these fish right here. Everything else will sell. So we made 14 silver um, with that, and we got a few baits left. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video. I do hope that you guys liked the video. If you guys uh, found the video helpful. Make sure to hit the like button if you guys want to subscribe as well. I appreciate the support. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.